Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is New Perspectives Excel 2019 Module 3 SAM Project 1B. Mat site instruments perform calculations with formulas and functions. Okay. Now these uh, I have already downloaded this start file here. As you can see, you can also download it. Uh, then we will go to our project step. So the first step is Ami Chao is a financial analysis with Mat site instruments, a global manufacturer of medical instruments and devices. The Met Site Auditory Instructions, sorry, Instruments Division is planning to manufacture and market an innovative hearing aid suitable for all ages. Amy is using an Excel workbook to estimate the sales, expenses, and profits of the new device. Switch to the new unit sales projections worksheet. Unit sales projection worksheet. Here it is. Then use the values in the range C5 to D5 to fill the range E5 to I5. C5 to D5 to I5, E5 to I5, here it is. Then, with a series of incremented percentages, okay, so now these are the incremented percentages, 4%, 8%, 12%, 16%, 20%, there is an increment of 4% in each uh, cell. Okay, now use the values and formatting in the range B6 to B7, B6 to B7. To extend the list of years to the range B8 to B10, B8 to B10. Okay, and to project five years of growth. Okay, then use auto fill to the range C8 to I10, C8 to I10. Sorry, C8 to I10 with the formatting from the range C6 to I7. So first of all, we will copy the formatting from C6 to I7. Here, this one is the format uh, painter. So click on this. Now the formatting is copied. Now from uh, C8 to I10, or to fill, to, to fill the range C8 to I10, okay. Select this cell C8 to I10, and here it is. Okay, after that, uh, uh, yeah, now enter the formulas as follows to complete the table of projections in the range C6 to I10. In cell C7, C7, create a formula using the, uh, using a function that multiplies the sales projection for the first year, sales projection for the first year, okay, by the first growth rate, cell C5. One second, bracket, C6 multiplied by C5 and then adds the sales projection for the first year, okay, add sales projection for the first year, okay. Uh, to the result to determine the first estimate for 2022, use an absolute reference for row 5 in the reference cell C5, okay, uh, here, yeah, before row 5, type dollar sign, so this will make uh, this row absolute reference, uh -uh. yeah, after that, copy the formula from cell C7 to the range C8 to C10, C7 to the range C8 to C10, then copy the formulas from the range C7 to C10, C7 to C10 and then to the range D7 to I10, D7 to I10. To complete the table of projections, now switch to the cost analysis worksheet which analyzes the vendor and shipping cost per uh, unit to select a vendor and shipper for the new product. In cell B10, uh -uh, in cell B10, cost analysis worksheet, okay, in cell B10, um, find the average vendor cost per unit by creating a formula using the average function to calculate the average of the values in the range B5 to B8. Okay, um, in the cell B10, B10, type average, 
bracket then select this cells p5 to b8 and then enter okay copy the formula from the cell uh, e10 to find the average shipping cost per unit okay here copy the formula to cell e10 and then paste here here it is now in cell b11 find the highest vendor cost per unit by creating a formula using the max function to identify the maximum value in the range b5 to b8 copy the formula to cell b11 to find the highest shipping cost per unit okay so this is not a whole tutorial video there are total 15 instructions from which i have already explained you five instructions now for the rest of the assignment you need to contact me on my whatsapp or email whichever you want my all contact details are provided in the description box so yeah contact me and get any type of assignment help from there in case any doubt you can ask me through comment box so thank you thank you for watching my video